Hi, RJ Baxter here with Intercap Lending. I want to talk this week about a really popular concept right now that's out there in the real estate business, in the mortgage business, and that is the temporary buy down, also called a 2 1 buy down or 3 2 1 buy down. So I want to talk this week about what is this temporary buy down and when does it make sense for your situation. So to explain it quickly and easily, basically it's called a 2 1 buy down because the first year of the loan, your rate is 2% lower than the initial rate. The second year, your rate is 1% lower. And the third year, your rate is the full rate all the way through until you sell the house or refinance or pay it off. So if your rate start, your full rate is 6.5%, that means the first year, your rate's going to be 4.5%, a significant savings. The really good news is that because of how the market is right now, where it's not as competitive, listings are sitting on the market longer, there are sellers out there that are willing to negotiate to pay this for you, pay the buy down fee to get this 2 1 buy down. Now, this is a little bit different than a permanent buy down. This is a traditional, uh, the one that most of us are familiar with, where you use what are called discount points to buy down the rate permanently. That's called a permanent buy down. So, you, one point is 1% of the loan amount. It's a fee you pay at closing to obtain a lower interest rate for the entire term of the loan. So what I want to talk about is under what circumstances does the temporary buy down or the permanent buy down make sense? So I've drawn up a comparison here of a $600,000 home with 20% down, so 480,000 loan amount with the regular mortgage with no, no buy down, the temporary buy down and the permanent buy down. Now, under these scenarios, I assumed on every single one of them that the seller is paying the buy down fee. Now, if on the permanent buy down, I, the example I showed was we're able to buy the rate down to 6% with that 1% upfront fee. So 1%, $4,800 to get the rate to 6%. And the full rate is 6.5% in this example. So let's look at the comparison. Now, I'm not going to go through all this data. I'm happy to draw this up for you on your own scenario, and you can go through this in more detail. But I want to point out one thing over here on the left, I can toggle the number of years that it displays. And for our example here, I just put five years for the example. And you can see the graph shows the comparison over time. And the shaded portion difference here, the green versus the pink, is where the break even point is. So four, four years and nine months, is where it becomes more financially advantageous to go with the permanent buy down versus the temporary buy down. Now, the idea with the temporary buy down is that you look, you're going to be looking to refinance before the rate even gets to this, the full rate, which would be within the first two years. So if you look at even three years out, the temporary buy down versus the permanent buy down, you're going to save $3,700 overall on your payments over three years. And compared to the full mortgage, you're going to pay, you're going to save almost $11,000 over three years. So this is a really powerful way to get your payments more in line with what you're looking for initially, um, despite the fact that rates are up right now. And now is a great time to look at buying a house because it's not as competitive out there. You can get a better deal on the house. You can find sellers that are willing to negotiate to pay for things like this. So it's a great time to get in, even though rates are up, and look to refinance later when rates come down. Now, I did talk about this recently. I put out a housing and interest rate forecast. And if you didn't see that, just let me know. If you can't find it, I'm happy to send it over to you so you can look at the reasons behind why I think rates are likely to go down over the next 6 to 12 months. There's a lot of uh, data around. It's not just um, just a guess. I think it's highly likely this could happen, and I'm, I go through the evidence of that in my video, that's, which is my forecast over the next year. So once again, my name is RJ Baxter, Intercamp Lending. Let me know if you have any questions on this or anything else. Always here for you, and you have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching.